Welcome to this screencast video about how to set up a LaPorte Q contour cut sheet in DrawCut Pro. My name is Fabian Franke and I will show you how to create an A3 sheet with several stickers and con cutting contours to produce a typical job of stickers for um, your customer. Let's say we have a request to produce um, stickers of different sizes for that object that you have received from your customer, which is a um, which is a logo, and the customer also already created a cutting outline that you can use for your cutting contour later, um, as Drawcut Pro also has the possibility to automatically detect potential uh, contours and create cutting contours automatically. I want to show you how you would do that yourself if the contour would not already be there from the original file. Um, here we have the original image. It's actually a JPEG with a white background, so no, um, no vector graphic, but a uh, but a bitmap graphic and we want to automatically create a cutting outline similar to the one you just saw on the other file. Um, to do that you select the file and go here to the create cut contour wizard. As we're using a bitmap graphic the software will um, ask you to first trace the graphic in order to be able to find a um, uh, cutting outline. So that is basically the same tool as you would use to completely trace the whole file, which we don't want to do at that moment. We just want to be able to, that draw cut is able to detect the um, outline of the graphic we're using and then create a cutting contour, which we can edit now for um, offset and uh, corner style, like round sharp and things like that. And so once we're satisfied with the result, we just can click accept and we will receive the original bitmap graphic here and a vector cutting contour we can use to cut out this object on our vinyl cutter later. Um, so going back to the original file, in that case, there, it's a group of the two objects um, and we have to ungroup first in order to select the contour we receive from our customer and use the color palette over here and left click on this small cutting icon in the top right corner in order to create exactly what you saw in the file before. So now we have the graphic and the cutting contour all together. By marking this line as a cutting contour draw cut uh, will automatically not add it to any print file we create in future. So um, only will use that particular line style as a cutting line. Now I'm grouping it again to be able to create my A3 sheet. I will change the size of the of the sheet to A3 and I know from my customer he wants to have those two different sizes of about 50 millimeters and uh, 100 millimeters of the sticker. Then we can use the tile array tool in order to create various copies of those objects. Maybe we do 12 of the small one and and we will try to do at least two of the big ones. Please note that you will uh, not be able to use the full area of the A3 sheet to 
put objects there because your vinyl cutter will always need some centimeters of space on one end of the paper for the feeding because the grid rolls in the vinyl cutter are always a few centimeters behind the actual line of cutting in order to prevent the paper from falling out of the vinyl cutter while uh, contour cutting you need some centimeters of space uh, either on the top or bottom end of the of the print file or the the, the final object so once you are you're set with the um, with the layout you open the contour cut wizard and then you you see that uh, Drawcut Pro is automatically creating the Lapos Q marks around the selected objects including the later uh, the barcode where the cutter later will be able to read the actual job ID from but um, as we want to send this file to a print shop and uh, let them print A3 sheets for us we have to use this option here to use the original design size so now you see that you have A3 dimensions here and um, we can add some millimeters of gap between the cutting marks and our design objects and then we also would be able to move the whole thing around on the on the sheet a bit and as I said before you will need some centimeters here with white space um, to properly load the print job in your vinyl cutter so once we're set with all this we can check the print view which would be the black marks barcode and the um, actual green logo files and then the the cut view is um, only the cutting contours and at that point we're already uh, ready to create a pdf file that we can send to the to the print shop this file here has a desired a3 size and we can save that and send it off to the print shop and here we will now be able to add the cut job to the contour cut controller so from that moment on this um, copy of draw cut pro will always be able to recognize the job scan from the barcode on our print layout uh, once you put it inside the vinyl cutter, the cutter reads the barcode, you will not uh, need to open a file or search for a, for a file in your archive, but automatically the job will be recognized and the correct contours will be cut right away and um, also the orientation if, if you're using the paper upside down or in the correct orientation will be detected automatically so the contours will always be cut correct either if you're starting at that barcode or on that barcode on the top here if you in a few days will receive the printed sheets and you want to start the cutting process you will need to enter the vinyl spooler uh, once and from there open the Lapos Q controller which is the window you just saw um, and then enter the sheet in your vinyl cutter move the, the laser head in front of the first cutting mark and then press start to um, start the detection process of the job ID and the actual contour cutting so with that information I hope you will be able to easily create your print and cut designs with DrawCut Pro and Lapos Q crop mark detection and uh, thank you for watching and see you next time.